Questions, Councilman Rugman? And it's uh, never been done before, you know, brand new idea. <laughs> this is so far out that I really like it. Thank you. It looks, I think, I, it, it, at first I thought, you're nuts. I get that sometimes. But <laughs> you, you, you see those pictures, and it dresses your town up. I love it. it would it cost the city any money? Uh, the plan at this point is to have it cost the city nothing. Um, we've actually we've actually approached or started a dialogue with Microsoft. Uh, we think we've developed an advertising campaign that could use this as a backdrop. Uh, that's something that they could really go for, and then in return get some funding to get to get the project done. There's also you know uh, several million dollars available in NEA grant money. There's um, DOT beautification money that's available. Lots of, I've, I've worked pretty closely with the Montana Arts Council in identifying some grant funding sources. Um, we think there's a lot of opportunity out there, and especially because this is, you know, this has never been done before as a brand new idea. Um, <laughs> because of that, I think that I think that we have a pretty good shot at, at getting funding for it. Councilman uh, Astle. Thank you. Um, I hate to agree with Vince, but this is pretty neat stuff. Well, uh, a couple of questions is, um, um, what's the fire department going to say about these um, being on the outside of buildings, restricting access somewhere or, or something like that? And the other thing is, what'd you do with the trees in front of the? Okay. Why? I know this is artistic license, but oh, actually, that was um, that was that was one of those things. The trees were a big big part of the debate when I was making that mock up, um, and I'll get to that in a minute. To answer your first question, as far as um, fire code and things like that. Um, these are all, these are all you know 20 30 feet above street level where there's not going to be any doors um, as far as window act I mean we're talking about the Crown Plaza I don't know that they need window access or even have window access to be honest I, to be honest I don't know but I don't know that there'd be an issue there either all right thank you councilman Pittman and this might be for staff as Do we have to do some zone changes? I mean, obviously, this is exterior art or signage. Or um, this has been discussed with the planning department. The answer is no. Council Person Gagan. I would just like to commend you for being extremely out there in a way that uh, is exciting. And I like the thought greatly that Billings could be so unique and your vision expansive as it is is really staggering i think but the thought that it doesn't cost us money is something that I mean, we really like well and especially in a in a time where we've lost the metro and the revenue that that generates and we've lost the outlaws and the revenue that that generates we think this is a really good idea idea and the timing um to bring people to billings to spend some money uh, i think is a, is a good thing too uh, and i should also i should also mention that i spoke with uh, both monty dolak and carol hagan who are, I mean, they both really like the idea and have offered to contribute artwork to it. So named artists out there, um, some undiscovered talent, a lot of opportunity for the art world. Mr. Abel, am I correct that your company designs the wrap? Is that right? You, you design it, but you don't produce it? We, the, the production of the material, uh, the wraps themselves, is outsourced to another company that has a larger facility than we do. Mm -hmm. um, the installation of the, of the wraps is handled in conjunction with another local sign company, Billing Sign Service. Uh, and each wrap, as far as installation on the buildings, it's specific to each building. It's a semi-permanent application with minimal impact on the building structure itself. And each one is engineered specific to the building and signed off on, because I know that was a question the last time. That you answered my second question. That was the installation. Life expectancy on the average uh, for something like this, can you give an idea there? I can. Um, the manufacturer guarantees six months before fading or failure. The material itself is designed to last for a couple of years before it starts having any problems with tear outs where it's bolted to the building. Uh, and that's why we'd want to replace them on an 18 month to 24 month basis. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm still fighting a little bit of a chest cold, but uh, does that answer? It does. Uh, I just had some concern. I, I too, I think it's a fantastic idea and it's certainly a way to enhance our city, but also I'm, I'm concerned about the life expectancy, the visual appearance as they begin to deteriorate and Correct. replacement and so forth. So now we have we've have a lot of experience with the with the exact same printing process with UV based inks. Uh, it's the same printing process that we use at our shop here in town, and we know from our own experience 
in having untreated uh, printed materials exposed to sunlight, they can last three to four years before you notice any color degradation. And there's different colors degrade faster than other colors because of the UV spectrum. Um, but we think by changing them out every 18 to 24 months, you're really not going to notice anything as far as deterioration of image quality. The Thank you. Too, that we've had a lot of test subjects as far as commercial application goes in other cities. You know, around the world, this has been a consistently used product for commercial applications. Um, there's, there's been a lot of tests on it's not like we're just trying to get something to work. So I mean, that's where we can check on that kind of durability, that kind of resistance. You know, typically, these manufacturers tend to uh, you know, bring their numbers down a little bit so they don't have to be reliable for a lot of things. But like I said, we've done a lot of work with the product before, so I'm uh, confident. Thank you. Uh, Councilman McFadden, question? Uh, yeah, could you give us a little brief uh, update on your financing? Like, um, for example, how far along are you on getting money out of the National Endowment for the Arts? Oh, those are uh, the grant writing process is a, is a fairly lengthy process. Um, what we would ideally like to do is get phase one completed through strictly through corporate sponsorship. Uh, that way we can just move the timeline up on it to get an actual uh, finished product out there so that when we write the grants, people know exactly what they'd be getting for their money. Um, NEA grants can take up to two years before you can get the funding for it. Uh, we personally like the idea of going after corporate corporate money for this kind of a project anyway, just because it's quicker and easier to do. And I think, and you know, again, with, with having opened up the dialogue with Microsoft um, and the direction that that seems to be going, I think that there's a really strong lead there. Um, the first initial thing that we're going to do as far as fundraising is this t-shirt, the I am a visionary, are you? And the, the slogan that's on the front of your packet is kind of the saying that we developed down at Solar Graphics, and it, we, we really think that it's true. That um, you know, we went we went out and we had a really crazy, wild, great idea that's outside the box. And um, you know, the name of the gallery, our gallery, under the big sky, was picked because we need a whole lot more people involved in it to be able to get it done. It's not going to be my gallery, and it's not going to be Solar Graphics Gallery. We need it to be the communities. Thank you. Other questions, Councilman Mueller, Dolan. I, I think it's a great idea, yeah. and I you know, a lot of other things here is you look at the number of visitors that we get through our airport and passing through on the way to the parks and things like that. I think it's just a really neat idea. Um, one of the observations, I happen to office in the U.S. Bank building, and I know some of these other buildings have got multiple tenants in the building, and I would guess that you could get contributions from some of those folks, too, that would be interested in seeing that done. It's just you know, kind of a fun thing, I think, to participate in. But just a technical question I got, how do you stick this stuff to the building. Obviously, you've got a lot of variety in terms of external facades and things on the building. So, how do you physically right. stick it on there? Well, that's that's what I mentioned. Each building is is unique. Um, there's granite on some, metal on others. Um, it starts with aircraft carrier landing cable at the top of it. I mean, it starts with really high grade, durable stuff. I mean, catches airplanes in the middle of the ocean. It's really durable stuff. Um, you know, there's bolts, there's pulleys, there's wires. I mean, each one is unique. I mean, it's, it's a very difficult question to answer, but, you know, like I say, every, every, everything's engineered so that it's... So who would do the physical time. installation then? Uh, depending on time frame, we, you know, we're going to work with Billings Science Service to do as much of it as we can. If we can, you know, if we get an opportunity to put up five buildings over the course of a week, that's too much work for one sign company, and we'd be happy to go out and, and, and try and find more people with big trucks. Um, I don't know that I'd be handling it because... 260 pounds, I don't want to repel off the side of a building. But that how much it weighs? No. Oh, that's how much I weigh. <laughs> 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 Other questions, Councilman Pittman? Uh, so all of these people, you've already been talking to all of these buildings, the people that own these buildings, or is this something? Unfortunately, um, you know, Solo Graphics is, uh, just recently became a three-person company. It was a two-person company up until a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Um, and we, you know, we do, I do 60, 80 hours a week getting work, paid for work done. Um, that's one of the things that's kind of slowing down this project. Um, and we haven't had time, and to be honest, we don't have a lot of the connections that we need to be able to speak with these people. Um, and if anybody here can, like, jab people at the, at the chamber to give me a call, I think they could be a great resource. Um, but like I said, this is a, this is a project that requires a community to, to actually happen and any help that we can get with that would be great. 
Yes, go ahead. And so some of these are covering up windows. So at night, does there require some kind of coordination so that they, they leave all their lights on on one side of the building or something? Or Actually, I think on off or swatch it? Or? As a viewer, I think that would be kind of one of the interesting things about this gallery is at night, you really never know what parts of the, the pieces you'd actually see, if you'd see any of them. And it's, you know, the gallery itself isn't designed to be viewed at night anyway, but I think as an, as an evening kind of backdrop, it would be interesting to see, you know, maybe a horse head lit up on one part of a building or, you know what I'm saying, different pieces of the artwork showing up that way. Maybe consider some flat light structures and set of lights. Thank Council Person Gagan. Would, would the building owners or whomever you worked with have a choice in the type of artwork that would be displayed or would you right. choose the, that? That's a great question. Um, as far as selecting the artwork, um, we would like to work with the Ellison Art Museum and have opened up a dialogue with, with them. Um, we've also opened up a dialogue with the folks that run the Rogue Gallery um, because they've got mm -hmm. kind of the up and coming fresh artists. So we want a mix of the artwork. Um, I don't want to, you know, we, we kind of would like to have a committee of the building owners and people influential in the artwork to select artists and pieces. Um, I imagine that you know some of our more notable Montana artists would get featured positions sure. like on the Crown Plaza and things like that. Um, but you know there's cer certainly going to be a, a standard, and um, you know, we don't want anything too crazy or risque, no. um, that kind of thing. You know the, the artwork is designed to represent the people that live in the community, um, and I don't think crazy and risque really says no, villains. No, that doesn't so. represent us. Councilman uh, McFadden. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, so this is all going to be current live artists. We're not going to go back and do Charlie Russell, or no. we're just looking for people who are currently in business? Correct. Like Michael McFadden and people like that. Thank you. <laughs> ah, no advertising. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, any other questions from the council? Go for it. Yeah. Thank you very much for your presentation. Yeah, thank you. If you do have uh, any questions, feel free to contact me at Solar Graphics. Uh, we have a website, sg406.com has a link right to the our gallery under a big sky under the big sky dot org. Uh, that one's really long, so try SG four oh six. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay. Yes, Councilman Pittman. Do you have the, the little show that you just put on? Is that on, on the internet? Is it a YouTube? It, it's, on, it's on our website and it's also on YouTube. Almost can you tell views. us is there a, what the site you just go to solo graphics or That's right. you can go to sg406.com right from the main page there's a link to the gallery website uh, the gallery website is our gallery under the big sky dot org you're on it yes by me. what is the next step from us is there something that we need to do to encourage this very great entrepreneurial effort or, or just what, just to well, um, I'm going to share for these uh, gentlemen that are here this evening, as you may understand, this is a work session. This right. is not a business meeting where decisions are made, votes are taken, and so forth. This is just your opportunity to present us with your plan. Uh, from here, I would suggest that you're probably going to continue your efforts of soliciting funding, support, and so forth, and to remain in contact with our uh, city administration. And for future presentations, you would need to get on the agenda via our normal procedure to come back with any future presentations for any other information you have to present and or our approval from this point forward so well, once again thank you ladies and gentlemen thank, thank you. you thank you and